This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles mod spotlight. Today, we are taking a look at Valenheim. Let's get to it. Here we are at the entrance of Valenheim. Valenheim is an dungeon mod. It adds a brand new dungeon to the game for you to explore. And I was thinking to myself, what's the best way to show off a dungeon? I mean, I could kind of just breeze through it and show it and all of that. And then I thought, you know what? The best way to show off a dungeon is just to do the dungeon. Now, the dungeon is designed for multiple people so we're gonna give it a go with me and my thrall technically that's multiple people your thrall counts as like three people because they're so OP I'm running an in-game build here which is my bow build if you don't know what that is I did a video on it I will link it up in the top right hand corner you can click that check it out and in the description so once you have the mod installed and you load it up the entrance is right here on the map you can see where I where I am there on the map man I'm struggling to talk today the lips just don't want to move they don't want to do the thing anyway so there's where we are on the map and this is the entrance to it so you just walk up to it and uh, you go in it like that once you hit E to activate it it should teleport you inside your thrall should eventually show up there's our thrall and uh, we are good to go so I noticed when I was just kind of checking it out if you follow these lights they kind of guide you through it but there's some stuff off the beaten path that we also want to check out here so let me make sure I have all of my god mode off all of that all that shenanigans and we're good to go to actually like do the dungeon before we get into this first fight here okay everything is good I double checked all of my settings and we are good to get into a fight so we're gonna just start off with uh, shooting that lady right there and uh, not too crazy on the HP uh, then again, we are spec to hit extremely hard, so there's that. She's not even going to make it to us. Let's take a look at her loot, your average loot that you would expect. Uh, there's the, the mod author eventually, uh, and bear with me while I struggle to talk today. Oh, wow. I, okay, I see why it's considered in-game. Holy crap, they hit hard. Um, the mod author eventually wants custom loot that you can only get here, which I think will be really cool. Uh, that is not implemented yet, but uh, is a feature that the mod author wants to add. Come on, kill that guy for me. Fantastic. Okay, let's heal up a little bit and let's continue on. So while they don't have a ton of HP, they do hit very hard. I am in heavy armor. I do have a crap load of armor and they're just cutting through that like butter. So that's a thing. Okay, so we're going to continue on here. We're just going to kind of follow the path along here and make sure our thrall is following. She is. Now, my thrall is nothing crazy. She's just the, the normal strength build. So, executioners, champions, godbreaker, champions, and any strength of boots. And then I'm just running a star metal greatsword on her. Nothing special. And then a bunch of gruels so she can heal through all of the issues. You know, any, any damage that she's taking here. Yeah, all of her issues. She could just heal through all of her issues. She was, she was, uh, slightly abused in her youth and uh, she's just got a, a lot of baggage and she just eats gruel to heal through it okay so here we go we're going to shoot that lady right there so the melee can't make it to us the melee people are not that big of a deal to deal with uh, however the archers hit very hard and my cloak is off. They just must have really... Yep, see there, it's deactivated. They must have really short aggro range. That guy seems to be stuck in the house and not... Oh, that guy just moonwalked right out of the house ready to fight. He's so ready to fight, he moonwalked out of the house. That guy there seems to be stuck. We're just going to take him down. And uh, we're getting just pummeled with arrows here. Let's get that guy out of there. And Thrall should be able to handle this guy. Thrall, you got this? Thrall, you good? You good? Um, maybe not. Okay, Thrall is good. We're good there. Let's uh, heal up a little bit. Continue healing. And then we're just going to follow these lights through here. And, uh, you know, maybe shoot a deer just because. Freaking deer. Oh, we got a lady here. Yeah, it looks like the aggro range is very, very short for these. Uh, if I was the mod author, I would... I don't know if that's something the mod author can do if they affect that, but it seems like they're not... They're not attacking me. Let's just see if we just run up here. Are they... Are they even... Ag okay, they're definitely aggressive, but it looks like you got to get really close up on them. Closer than normal, or am I just crazy today? It's... It's possible that I'm just crazy, but it seems like we got to get really, really close for some of these people to 
realize we're here. Okay, so this is a boss, and I think we're getting shot in the back. Oh no, we're getting shot in the front, and there that lady's shooting us there. Okay, so we're gonna run this way, and we're going to shoot this. Oh, whoa, dude, dude, I don't know what you're doing with that moonwalking, like, coming up on me like that, but no, holy crap. All right, so this is where you break out the melee stuff, and, um just block you just block and hopefully the thrall gets in there and actually decides to do something okay we got that dude down and now we can swap back to the bow and cripple this lady here all right I'm just gonna hit everybody I don't even care at this point yeah she needs to die all right thrall it's all you now. It's all you, Thrall. You got this. I'll I'll tap her with I didn't bring any healing arrows. We're relying completely on Gruel to keep the Thrall in uh, good spirits through this. Okay, so we got her. Man, she was a bit of a fight. So there's the loot that she drops. Nothing special. Um, no no crazy boss loot. That guy's just dropping your it looks like majority of them just drop your average Nordheimer gear. All right, so we got another bow lady here. Bow, stop, stop it, stop it. Why Why can't I hit anything today? Can I hit no way? Wow, we just blew her up. Okay, that's great. All right, so we're going to continue on. So far, it's a pretty cool dungeon. I like it. It uh, The beginning here reminds me of New Azagarth, but I think that's the general idea because it's themed that way, as you can tell. Uh, we're going to shoot this lady in the legs. We're not even going to let her out of the house before she dies. Okay, great. So we'll take a look at her loot there. Yeah, your average uh, Nordheimer stuff. So we got a bunch of stuff in here. We got some chests, your average chest loot, elixir of ingestion, you know, just uh, your your normal goodies. I'm, I'm looking forward to the custom loot, like the special weapons that you can only get by doing this dungeon. I think that will really set this dungeon apart and um, make it worth even more downloading than it is now. I mean, it's worth downloading now because it's a it's a solid dungeon experience and uh, it's only going to get better with time. This guy here is stuck. I can see there's a little bit of things that need to be tweaked here and there, but some of that could just be engine bugs or game the game itself bugs. So we're going to go up this way and you can see we got like a little, whoa, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Freaking archers. We got a little path over this way and you can see there's a, a bear there, bear den. We're going to go check that out because that is part of this thing here. I want to show you there is a chest here. So we got a bear. Uh, I am apparently unable to cripple said bear. The bear is just all up on me. Where is my Thrall? Thrall. Oh, Thrall is in the dirt. Okay. So let's see if we can maybe get Thrall to teleport. Nope. Nope. Thrall is super stuck. So we're just going to... Oh, we're going to get mauled. That's what's going to happen here. We're just going to get absolutely mauled by a bear. Thrall, can you, can you do some stuff? Can you... Can you help me out here? Okay, all right. Now now I think we might be good. Let's swap back to the bow and uh, attempt to cripple these bears. If we can keep them crippled, we should be able to keep them off of us. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Thrall's getting just absolutely destroyed over here. Thrall, kill that bear already. Kill this one. Come on. Come on, Thrall. Come on, Thrall. Get in on it. Get, get in on it. It's, it's jacking up my day. All right, we're meleeing it, and it's down. Okay, well that was that was good times. We didn't take too much of a beating there, but it felt like we were. And then in here, where the one bear was, there's a chest with some goodies. So yay, goodies! And then you can see from here that there's a bridge over that way. So that's another chunk of the dungeon. So what we can do is just go from here over to here. And there's a, a pretty much everywhere in here you can't climb. So just keep that in mind when you're when you're doing the dungeon that you cannot climb anywhere in here. Okay, so we're gonna go around this way and follow the lights. See the lights just kind of lead you to the different paths, which I think is a really cool way to to lead you through the dungeon. 
really just simplistic and easy way to show you where to go. And then we go over to here and there are undead over here somewhere, somewhere over here. There's one right there. And we're just going to shoot him. He's a mini boss, as you see. Let's see if we can cripple him. Uh, we don't need to. Thrall just got in on it. Thrall's got this. We'll just, uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, so now we need to back the Thrall up a little bit. All right, so uh, they don't drop anything. You can see there, they don't drop anything. I'm sure you could probably harvest them, though. And uh, then there's another guy here, and there's a chest right here, so we're going to have to kill this guy first. And as you see, he does corrupt you when he hits you, just like the other ones do. And I don't know what he's doing now. Some crazy moonwalking shenanigans. And now he's just crawling because arrows OP. All right, let's get in on this and uh, finish him off. There we go. Slap the thrall around a little bit so it knows its place. And uh, actually, that's great. We can grab the pickaxe and check it out. So there's a the loot. And if we use the pickaxe on this guy. Okay, so it looks like we cannot harvest these corpses. They're not harvestable. Check this one over here. No. So they don't give any loot and they're not harvestable. Okay, continuing on, we're going to go over this way. And you can see that there's like a, a path up this way. So there's another area over here with a boss in it that we can fight. So come up here. We got some more undead. We're going to just uh, cripple them and eventually Thrall will decide to do something or not. You know, that's that's also a thing. Sometimes the Thrall just says, you know what? I don't want to attack today. So those guys also drop nothing. Uh, there's a bunch more. We're going to have to fight our way in through here. Okay, and then once you've killed all of those guys, we come up here and there is the boss here. So now we have to fight the boss. Boss is the King Scourge, and uh, he attacks pretty crazy. Thrall, you gonna get in on that? But as you can see, with pretty much everything else, you, you keep it crippled and it uh, doesn't do a whole lot. Then you let the Thrall get in there, and uh, Thrall will eventually kill it. And Thrall's made pretty short work of this guy. I'm gonna hit him with a few arrows here to the face. Oh, or not. Or I can just completely miss. That's that's an option as well. Completely missing is always a thing. There we go. So we'll just uh, hit him with a couple normal shots. And he's down. So not too much HP. Not too, too hard to kill. You can see he actually does drop some good boss loot. Fragment of power. Legendary repair kit. And then he has a bunch of chests here. So there's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. Okay, so then once you've done that, then you can come back out this way and get back on the main path. Okay, so we're back out here on the bridge that led us over there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back out here and follow this path here, which leads us to the rest of the dungeon. Because you have to get through the rest of the dungeon in order to get out. So we're going to go this way, follow through here, follow the path, plenty of deer in here. And then we're going to go into another village here. And uh, oh, we're getting shot from, from up there. Wow, okay. Oh, oh, hey, hey there. Hey, no, no. Now you can die quickly. Oh, 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 hey, I said die. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's help with this one. If I can manage to hit it. Okay, there we go. So we got to watch out for those archers. We got an archer there. And it looks like an archer here. Let's see if we can just kill her. Oh, yeah, she almost dead. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. You got nothing. There we go. She's down. Uh, the other guy, uh, we might be able to hit this guy through here. Yeah, there we go. And Thrall just went in there and owned him. Okay, so we're going to continue on our way through here. Fighting all of the Nordheimers. Or, uh, I think they have different names like Valkyrie and stuff like that. But, you know, you get the general idea. Okay, now that we got that little area cleared out, let's continue on. So we just follow through the path here. And it's going to lead us through where we are supposed to go. So there's like a lot of little areas here where you can see you're going to get surprised. They're just going to jump out at you, spear you in the face. And uh, 
gotta gotta be ready for it but i think this dungeon would be a lot of fun with a group of people and you could try to do it with a group of people without bringing any thralls i think that would be really cool all right we got her crippled so now uh thralls is gonna get in behind her take her down perfect continuing on so you can come in here and you can see there's a little area for them to hide no chests in that one do we get any chests in this one no we got another lady though Hello, and who does not seem to care to attack us. Oh, now she's in it. Now she wants it. You are not hitting me with your daggers. Or maybe you are. You might you might be hitting me with your daggers. Okay, so she's dead. So we're going to... Wow, this is a rough place. To, okay, so there we go. We're going to get through there. And uh, I'm just going to kind of breeze through the rest of this. So you would fight your way through all of this. And as you can see, there's you know there are some hidden chests here and there with your usual random loot in them, but you wanna make sure that you clear out all of the people because as you can see, if you're not careful, you will get a large group of these people all over you, fighting you, trying to kill you, and attacking you from all over the place. And it's kinda hard to run in here because of the way that it's laid out. And uh, looks like we're taking a buttload of damage. So we're just gonna run back out here and uh, hopefully Thrall teleports. Okay, great. And uh, now we're gonna continue to work our way through here real quick. So this is not one that you're gonna be able to run through relatively easily because there are so many people. They're just gonna start coming out of the woodwork and attacking you and you could very easily get pinned down in a location. But uh, we're gonna try to just kinda breeze through this a little bit faster we've continued to kill our way through the village i think we're almost at the end of it oh that lady got up on me really quick and uh yeah they just come out of the woodwork everywhere this uh it's a very serious dungeon to take it very serious these these people die pretty quickly but uh they gang up on you really fast and before you know it you got a swarm on you just tearing you down and they hit like freaking trucks. So we're gonna continue on this way and it looks like we are supposed to come around here. I think, did we miss the end? There's a, there's a beacon thingy, beacon, pillar, whatever. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is that we have to go to to get out of here. I may have missed it or I may have just kind of lost my way through this thing. And she's done. We're going to heal up and continue on through here. Got to be very careful. They hit even harder. So they continuously hit harder as we get, as we continue to go on through this dungeon. I've noticed like they're, they're hitting crazy hard now. And we're not going to let them, we're just not going to let them hit us because otherwise we could probably get like three shot here, even wearing the armor that we're wearing. Okay. So she's done. Thrall's okay. I think she's all right. Good thrall. Thrall is good. And then this is the way out. So once you kill everything, that's the beacon out. So you just run up to it, hit E, and that takes you out of the dungeon. So I hope you all enjoyed checking this dungeon out. It's pretty neat. I highly advise uh, if you're on PC, go grab it. Check it out if you're playing single player. If you're on a server, I think it's a really good addition to your server. And like I said, eventually the mod author wants to add custom items and a bunch of other really cool stuff to it. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Leak Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like comment just hit that thumbs up button to show your support until next time thanks for watching